This video will look at modifying the Overview tab in Incidents in Service Operations Workspace. Uh, this can also be applied to other similar tabs, for example, in CSM FSM Configurable Workspace, there is a Customer Information tab uh, that also displays uh, summary information. Um, so you can use these steps to modify those as well. So I'm in an incident here in Service Operations Workspace, and by default, the first tab that opens is this Overview tab, which uh, shows uh, some summary information and some, uh, some uh, there's some other components here, a list, um, et cetera. This is a really nice uh, page where you can splash up uh, whatever pertinent information uh, you have for the agents. So if I want to modify this, I'm going to go here and do Configure Workspace. And then I'll open it in UI Builder. And so I'll go to the record page. And the default here is record SNC. Uh, now here's where the magic happens. You go down to the record page tabs, <clears throat> and there's these three dots here. It's one of the, I think it's the only component with three dots like that. And you can go in here and do edit. A colleague of mine found this today, and I'm still blown away by it. So I go into edit. <clears throat> this brings us into, uh, well, first it asks, are you sure you want to edit this component? Wow, what a question. Uh, and we'll say yes, and this brings us into Component Builder, which is uh, something I've never seen before. Uh, but um, a while back, I heard on a ServiceNow podcast, um, I actually, I heard it implied <laughs> with some safe harbors, I think, that the idea was eventually to be able to build components uh, inside of UI Builder um, instead of, uh, configuring VS code and Node.js and all that stuff on the desktop and then, you know, publishing them up that you'd be able to do it right in uh, UI builder. So I'm guessing that we're kind of staring at the future here and, uh, this will be where we can build components in the future. But, uh, I know nothing about that. I just heard that one thing in a podcast and, uh, I'm seeing this component builder before my eyes here. So anyway, um, in Component Builder, and I have to go find the page. Um, so it's Incident Overview. And Incident Overview um, has only one variant, the Incident Overview SNC. And so this variant is uh, protected, right? It's read-only, which makes sense, because usually we don't want to modify ServiceNow stuff. We want to duplicate it. and. Uh, modify our, our, our copies. Um, so this variant and the page are in the incident management. Uh, so sometimes I've noticed that if you're not in the right scope, although this time it worked, you sometimes have to go to incident management uh, service operations workspace scope to get this to appear, uh, to get the preview to appear here. So if you're having a trouble with that, uh, switch your scope. And then sometimes I think I even had to refresh after switching the scope and it eventually uh, comes up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will duplicate this variant. Okay, we're just waiting for that to finish. Okay, so now I have my copy. Um, and so now I can make any modifications I want. We'll just do something simple here. Summary, hello world. And we'll save that. So now, as with other variants, we want to um, make this a higher priority or, or, or make it first in the order. So fortunately, whoops, when ServiceNow made their page, the, the original page, um, they put the order at 100, which is great. It leaves us some room. We can uh, just make a, a lower order uh, because this is read only in here. So I'm really happy they did that. I, I When I first got in here, I thought it was going to say zero in there and 
so we couldn't modify this, but uh, but they put it at 100, which is great. So we go into here, edit conditions, and put that as zero. Um, and that should be good. So now we'll go back to our incident, do a refresh. And there we go, summary hello world. So it's picking up our new variant. So lots to explore here. Um, I love their use of components and the way that it's, uh, I, I, I like the layout of this page, the fact that you can just see the text displayed. And then if you want to edit it, you can go into here. Uh, but uh, so that's how you get into it to start uh, digging around.